Let's get into the Caitlyn uh, Jenner news. Former Olympic gold medalist and reality TV star Caitlyn Jenner eyes California governorship. Let's see what Caitlyn Jenner's uh, campaign ad looks like. Oh, hey, one year. I chat, love you. I've always been a dreamer. California was once the envy of the world. We had what everyone else wanted. The American dream grew up here. Yet career politicians and their policies have destroyed that dream. It's been locked away. Republicans Closed. are actually Troy Bolton Shuttered. from High School Musical. Left in the dark. They just want to sing and dance. Burned down. The government is now involved. Someone needs to ask Caitlyn Jenner, like, how literally all of those things happen. That's and nice. have her describe why those things happen. Whether it be, like, the pandemic and, like, the horrific fucking early uh, response to the pandemic, which Republicans That's routinely deny. Pride. Which her voter base still, to this day, routinely denies. Or uh, the homelessness crisis that she taught, she briefly touches on, which is a gigantic problem in the state of California, which you know, also caused by skyrocketing property prices and uh, a lack of affordable housing for uh, Californians. That's another incredible question to, uh, to ask her. And then uh, my favorite part, of course, is the forest fires. I can't believe Gavin Newsom did the forest fire. Often every part of our lives, they've taken our money, our jobs, and our freedom. California needs a disruptor a compassionate disruptor. I came here with a dream 48 years ago to be the greatest athlete in the world. Now I enter a different kind of race, arguably my most important one yet, to save California. I want to carry the torch for the parents who had to balance work and their child's education. No Republican or Christian conservative will ever vote for a trans person? No, no, no. Some will. The Orange County Republicans love this shit. They, they look woke uh, in in the circles where they can uh, be around libs. You know what I mean? And they get to vote for a Republican. For business owners who were forced to shut down. For pastors who were not able to be with their congregation. For the family who lost their home in a fire. For an entire generation of students who lost a year of education. Okay. This past year has redefined our career politicians as elitists and the people of California as... Yeah, when I think of like uh, removing elitism from American politics, which is true by the way, especially California politics is super fucking corrupt. The Democrats here are dog shit. It's uh, only matched by like New York politics. It's now considered like a democratic bastion. So like party, the machine politics here, like democratic party machine here is just constantly churning out annoying neoliberals when the state is supposedly deep blue. But uh, while there is truth to what she's saying, once again, her solution is what? To fucking vote for Caitlyn Jenner? Nothing says I am not an elitist, like uh, being able to get away with murder from the wealthiest like uh, reality television family. That's all awesome the warriors the kings and the angels we never take kindly to glass ceilings here instead we shatter them oh god i fucking oh god she's so nasty dude i can't actually you know what she's not even nasty because like she's too fucking stupid you know what i mean like I, I don't think she's like actually doing this. She didn't craft this message some fucking demon republican operatives did you know what i mean like this is so <laughs> The girl boss narrative is so fucking whack. Oh, we're breaking the glass ceiling. Like, yeah, I'm sure liberals are going to be like, oh, my God. Now I'm going to vote for Caitlyn fucking Jenner. We're the trailblazers, the innovators. California is facing big hurdles. Now we need leaders who are unafraid to leap to new heights. Senator, he does not want to finish record in this race. He wants the world record. Wait, does this mean <laughs> is Caitlyn Jenner a turf, dude? Is she a trans exclusionary radical feminist, dude? I as a trans woman am breaking the glass ceiling, but not as a trans person, but as a woman. Also, fuck trans people. I didn't expect to get asked this on my Saturday morning coffee run, but I'm clear about where I stand. It's an issue of fairness, and we need to protect girls sports in our schools dude wait what caitlin jenner to compete in a women's golf tournament but also caitlin jenner if you're a biological boy you shouldn't be in girls sports oh my god wow 
listen guys true intersectionality means incorporating the diversity of ideas such as being a transphobic trans person who literally personally does not subscribe to the values that she is espousing uh to win elections god damn dude that is whoo, that is a glass ceiling that hasn't been broken boys that's that's true let's hear from her uh specifically hi caitlin so there's legislation in various states to ban biological boys who are trans from playing girl sports in school. What's your opinion on that? Uh, in back. In. Oh, doggy. This is a question of fairness. That's why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girl sports in school. It Yikes. Dude, this is some wild shit considering that I didn't even know that she participated in a in a women, women's golf tournament, but like that is ironic straight up. It just isn't fair. And we have to protect girl sports in our but, school. But, but if someone transitions and now identifies as a girl, isn't it delegitimizing their identity to prevent them? Have a them? good day. Damn. Okay. TMZ with the quickness though. That's kind of wild. Cause like you hear him say biological boy and you're like, Ugh, that's not right. But then he's like, well, okay. Well, aren't you literally delegitimizing trans existence? Like I didn't know that it, I didn't know that he was going to fucking flip the script so quickly to just like literally be more pro trans than fucking Caitlyn Jenner. Fuck that. She didn't climb up any kind of ladder. She was born on home plate. You think she scored a home run? So the thing is, like, I don't fucking know. She, I'm, I'm not that old, so I don't know what the fuck her, her deal was, uh, in, in the past and like all of the accomplishments, right? Like, I think she's like a very celebrated, wildly celebrated athlete, uh, with a lot of medals or some shit. I fucking, I don't know. I don't really care. Okay. So with respect to that, like, she fucking crushed it, I assume. But, uh, but the only reason why she's getting play right now is because Four she's uh, surrounded by like some of the biggest media demons on the planet who are so good who are so incredible at like manipulating the media and constantly having eyeballs right. on themselves. And she's currently trying to use that as a, as a way to launch her political platform, which is uh, probably for very selfish reasons. Kind of wild to me when you as a, as a celebrated trans person who in some respects was you like fucking absolutely boy. fucking insanely hyped by our bullshit fucking media apparatus for just coming out as trans, like how brave. And there was bravery there. She was one of the first like super high profile people, Balls but like she's a, a dog shit person in general. And like the media literally were just like, oh my God, she's incredible. Like what an incredible person, like it, it, on the cover of every fucking magazine at the time, straight out of a murder case, by the way, like literally fresh off the heels of a murder murder a manslaughter case and everyone was like she's so great she's so fucking incredible for her to turn around and just basically be like yeah i'm a republican by the way and also fuck trans people <laughs> like it's wild when did she say fuck trans people do you not recognize what she's saying she's literally just like yeah biological boys should not fucking compete if they're trans in women's or girl sports like that's that is the long and convoluted way to say Fuck young trans girls, okay? I mean, she's right about sports trans women should not compete against this one because they have a major biological advantage. Eh, no, that's, there's a lot of faulty science at play there. A lot of Joe Rogan takes in here. It's very hard to fucking address these things. Even if it was true, by the way, the, the impact is so incredibly marginal and it's so, so insignificant that like this being a major part of like Republican political discourse is psychotic. So I don't even know if she's like dating a woman now now but she has said in the past some shit about like gay marriage yeah she flip-flopped i guess on on gay marriage caitlin jenner's gay marriage flip-flop and why it matters oh my god this is written in the most 2015 way possible by the way oh my god why that matters why should we care that a woman who makes her living raising kardashians on reality tv as opposed to say a working class county kirk has publicly evolved da, da, da. i'm a traditionalist i'm older than most people in the audience you know i kind of like tradition and you know it's always been a man and a woman <laughs> she's like yeah whatever whatever you homos you can if it's really important okay. to you i could go with it <laughs> i'll allow 
know it. Fuck it, dude. Insane. I don't know. I don't know where to, I don't know where we go from here. This is fucking cool, to be honest. Like, we've gotten to a point where new beginnings are unlocking. Uh, there is so much opportunity here. Back in the day, you just had like, uh, you know, black people that worked for uh, white supremacists and played a role in like in upholding white supremacist values and stuff like that. Same for every uh, different marginalized group. But now we have like a homophobic, transphobic, trans person who is a Republican. It's wild. It, it, I don't even you just got to like uh, sit down and like take it in for a second. I'm a homophobic, transphobic, trans lesbian woman. I, I don't know. I don't know where we go. That is a glass ceiling, I think. Love that. All right, so let's uh, let's get to it. Let's get to the fucking actual juice here. Caitlyn Jenner did an exclusive with Sean Hannity last night because nothing says you want to win the Californians' uh, vote by going on Sean Hannity. There are a lot of Republicans in the state, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, my father, uh, when he was 19, um, in fact... Welcome to my hangar. This is actually my hangar. I have pictures on the wall of my father over there when he was 19. Wait, what? Bro, nothing says, uh, you, dude, nothing says I'm a layman, like I'm an average Joe. Like, filming from your fucking hangar. Oh my gosh, uh, he's so down to earth, dude. But I'm, I'm really fighting against the hypocrisy that's going on at that. They, they, he's been bad on every issue. He's bad on taxes. Um, it's not uh, to pull obviously, the most tax state in the nation. Uh, he's been horrible for business. Obviously, companies are leaving left and right. 18,000 companies have left California. My friends are leaving California. Actually, we're so this is the best part of the interview, and we actually He's talked about this on the Love It or Leave It podcast as well uh, earlier that I shot earlier today. Love this part. It's My coming. hanger, the guy across right over from me, he was packing up his hanger. I said, where are you going? I'm going to run that again. I need you guys to understand. She is currently presenting a story as she's running for governor of California. She said that people are moving out of California, packing up and leaving. California. Actually, we're at my hangar. The guy across right over from me, he was packing up his hangar. I said, where are you going? And he says, I'm moving to uh, Sedona, Arizona. I can't take it here anymore. I can't walk down the streets and see the homeless. I I'm leaving the state of California as a rich person with a fucking plane hanger because I my eyeballs penetrated the space in which a homeless person exists bro I cannot like this is like I I, I can't think of a more out of touch way to go about this than than exactly the way that Caitlyn Jenner is going about it which by the way Republicans do this all the time. Ben Shibibo has said literally the exact same things. Jenner on Joe Rogan went, oh, absolutely. She will go on Joe Rogan. 100%. I don't want to leave. Okay. Either I stay and fight or I get out of here. Let's describe... You can answer the specifics. No follow-up to that. Oh, you haul me with a hanger across the hanger from this one. is leaving for Arizona because he saw homeless people. Let's talk about that. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? Are you independent? And I really want you to define this term, a compassionate disruptor. What is a compassionate disruptor? I've kind of played around with that term. Um, and originally I started out as a compassionate disruptor. And then I was thinking the other day, I, I think I'm more of a thoughtful disruptor. I have common sense. Okay, I see what's going on and I see no common sense in politics and why they're doing it besides only for political Bro, this literally reads like a like a buzzword generator uh i'm here to do common sense okay we need to put forward reasonable bipartisan solutions like this is just like republican pete Buttigieg shit okay i love also that in the same breath this is after i love talking about how compassionate i am not 30 seconds after i just said my rich friend is leaving california because he saw a homeless person i love how compassionate i am though I have always been on the Republican side just because I have conservative economic values. I, you know, the old saying, yes! lower taxes, less regulations, you know, a more friendly business environment. And we don't have that in California. But socially, I've, much, I've been much more progressive all my life. I, I get it. People do need help. You know, we need programs. So how can you be a fiscal? Oh, God, she's doing the meme. Boys, she's doing the fucking meme. I'm a fiscal conservative, but socially I'm a liberal. And what that means is, uh, you know, the problems themselves are bad. But the reasons why those problems exist to begin with, well, that's very good. You know, economic inequality is at the heart of all of the issues that revolve around, like, 
fucking social problems, okay? A lack of social safety nets, which she's talking about and advocating for currently. How do we get to, you know, pay for those social safety nets? By taxes. Uh, but nope, sorry, I'm fiscally uh, responsible and uh, fiscally a Republican, so not happening. Now let's get to specifics. Uh-oh. No, no, uh-oh. Let's go. Hip oh, hey. California huh. is a sanctuary state. That's good. It's good to start off, uh, let's talk policy with a uh-oh. Yes. You have sanctuary cities. Would you eliminate sanctuary status for the state of California? Uh, I would keep it a sanctuary state for small businesses. <laughs> meaning? You know, meaning that? I want small businesses to come into this state. You know, I want people to create. Wait. Does she not know what a sanctuary city is? Oh no. I mean, it's an excellent dodge. If she like actually doesn't know what that is, if she actually doesn't know what that is, that's like kind of a good dodge. Like think about it. Great wealthier. I want them to employ people. Yeah, but as far as immigration, no, uh, I, oh, no, she am, I am not on that. We need to spend some money to have a fair and equitable immigration system. In Gavin this state. Newsom, for the record, he's given $500 no, 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 checks to illegal immigrants. Yes. Guaranteeing health care for illegal immigrants. Right. He's guaranteeing education for illegal immigrants. It's a big issue. What would you do different? Um, for example, if you could, would you well. continue Kate building Lee the border wall? Clown. Thanks uh, for all I am you all for the wall. I, I would secure the wall. We can't have a, a state. We can't have a country without a secure wall. What does she mean? What the fuck? What are you going to build a wall around California? Like, ho hold up. As the next governor of California, I am going to build a wall around California, okay? We can't have a state without a wall, she says. No country without a wall and no state without a wall. Just um, a free for all. You have two questions here. One is stopping people from coming in illegally into the state. And then the second question is, what do we do with the people that are here? We are a compassionate country, okay? We are a compassionate state. Um, some help. I mean, some people, they're, we're going to send back, okay? No question about that. But I have met some of the greatest immigrants into our country. Um, I, I had a guy the other day. And nope. Too pro-immigrant already. 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 It's just like, she has to save this by saying, but they came in legally. Otherwise, like, if you even remotely mention immigrants in an empathetic manner, you will lose every Republican vote, okay? If you say, like, well, there's some undocumented immigrants in this country that just, like, want a better future for themselves, and we need to be, like, you know, we need to treat them with compassion. We're the wealthiest nation on earth. That's our responsibility. These people are making the country better. Like, the moment that you actually mention it in a compassionate capacity, you're done. You're fucking absolutely done. I've known him for Pretending 17 you years. Your before you flush. And um, I, I said, you know what? Come over here. <laughs> I want to learn something. You know, what is your what is your status? And he said, I've been in this country 17 years. This is a gentleman. I mean, this is the greatest guy. I want him to be a U.S. citizen. OK, he's an asset to this state. And to oh, she gave the game away. Not 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 a documented citizen this country. But he's been trying for 17 years to get citizenship. He says, I'm hoping... Did he, did he come in illegally or did he stay Ill over? Uh, I think it was on a visa. On a visa. Yeah, and stayed. Uh-oh. And But he's been there, but he's lost two jobs because he didn't have legal status. He finally got this other job where I met him. And uh, he is the nicest, greatest guy. He would make... I mean, I, I would do everything for him. Bro, you literally can't say... Undocumented immigrants are humans, okay? You will lose the Republican vote, especially on fucking Fox News, dude. There's a couple things you can't admit if you're running for Republican, running for office as a Republican, that like undocumented immigrants are humans. You can't do that. That homeless people are humans. You can't do that either, which, you know, she didn't do that because she's too rich for that. But you also can't admit that uh, felons are humans. Like these are three groups of people that you always have to dehumanize. That is at the heart of reactionary white nativist immigration policies. Like otherwise the entire system falls apart. It'll fall apart when you start allowing people to recognize undocumented immigrants as human beings with like lives and families, then it's going to be a little bit harder to justify doing such merciless, such brutal things to them. Yeah. The only thing that are full blown humans are unborn fetuses. Exactly. Let me ask country. the question. It's such a ridiculous Would you problem. allow the state to work with ICE? and enforce we, the we laws. In other words, people get out of jail. They are supposed to be deported. 
would you work, would you eliminate all of the sanctuary status that currently I love Sean Hannity walking through the individual steps of what a sanctuary city does because it feels like she doesn't fully comprehend what a sanctuary city does so now he's like okay so would you allow uh collaboration amongst ice and local authorities like he's like literally just like trying to feed her the the uh the answer exists in this state i would do my absolute best to do that it's not going to be easy but Stay i would right do there. my ab absolute best i am so you're not in support of a sanctuary city is what you're saying this right caitlin studying because that's what a sanctuary city does that's like the main reason the the designation of a sanctuary city implies that there is no collaboration between local authorities and ice so that uh you know undocumented communities can still feel free to take advantage and use the police force there uh, so that, you know, they can report crimes in their neighborhoods and stuff like that. Because once that collaboration starts occurring, then you shut off that entire community from ever calling the cops and crime runs rampant. This is not my take. This is the take of like actual fucking authorities. That's the reasoning for why, uh, sanctuary cities exist. On the issue of girls, transgender, sports, created a controversy. That was interesting to me, and your comments to Joy Behar, we got bigger problems yes. than pronouns in the state of California. I, my, I, Joy Behar and I agree on nothing, but I thought that was very <laughs> gracious of you, and I agreed with you. I don't think she did it on purpose. No, no, most people, honestly, my mother at times misgendered me. Joy, this is, you know, I, I mentioned a second ago my mom sometimes, you know, when she gets upset, you know, she. I, yeah. I, I don't have a problem with that. The community has a bigger problem with that than I do. Um, I stick with my statements that I made. Um, I think um, uh, we have to make sure that the integrity of girls' sports is there. I think that's extremely important. Um, but it's uh, there's more to it than just what I said, because I just said biological boys in sports. There's more to it than that. And I, I think in the future I will explain more of that. But for me, as a, a trans woman, I think role models are extremely important for young people. Trans issues people struggle with big time. Our suicide rate is nine times higher than the general public. And um, for me to be a role model for them, uh, to be out there. I just want to point out this really quickly. Caitlyn Jenner doesn't want trans girls competing girls sports, but played in a women's golf tournament. I just got to point that out one more time. It's uh, obvious that she wants to elaborate further on like, you know, saying like using the words biological boys and stuff like that. So I, I, I think she's like trying to, you know, the human part of her, the non-demon, the human part of her, because there is a human part inside of her, is like, eh, I can't be that transphobic. Like she's literally trying to, you can see that she's trying to rein it in. There's like, there's like a, there's like a real part of uh, that where she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll give more, I'll give more uh, consideration to this. But like, she's also running for office as a Republican. She is grifting, absolutely. I, I want to get into- I, Honestly, to me and Sean, I, my issues, I'm standing on my back porch a couple of years ago. I'm watching 200 foot flames come in, coming up the hill at me. Why? 17. Climate change. And also on top of that, horrible lack of regulation on the energy production or utilities, utilities in the state of California or a gender reveal party. I mean, there's like, uh, it, it depends. I don't know which, I don't know which fire she's talking about. There are so many that happen in wildfire season in California, and there are a multitude of reasons. A lot of it is accelerated by more dry brush or extended as a consequence of like having more dry brush and that happening as a consequence of climate change, but you know. A few hours later, it traveled 17 miles. I had to eventually evacuate my house. It was so intense. We had not had a burn there in 35. Thank God Kanye was there with the private firefighting, uh, like fire insurance people. So we could create a perimeter around our neighborhood where they ended up defending the wealthy neighborhood that we are in. That's true, by the way. Kanye was literally did that. Five years, it was so intense. I got a wisdom um, tooth pulled today. We need to upgrade our grid, our electrical system. 
Um, I think that's a position where we work with the electrical companies. Yo, this is not a meme. If Caitlyn Jenner ran as a fucking Democrat, I feel like she would have a better shot. I'm not even kidding. Because a lot of the stuff that she's talking about here, like fixing our infrastructure, like as far as like policies or as far as like actual issues in California, like she's right. And if she also ran as a Democrat, she wouldn't have this like idiotic approach to ICE and shit too. We, we now went through this, this worldwide pandemic. Very huge differences between say, red states, Florida, California. What would you have- There's no way he uses that as a positive, right? Like- Have done differently if you were the governor with COVID-19. Uh, first of all, Gavin Newsom on this issue has been absolutely horrible, okay? He's used it as a political tool in this state to shut it down, to control people. Yeah, dude, everybody loves shutting down businesses, dude. Like th this argument is so great, especially for like the, the how pro business Democrats are in general, how they're like light Republicans when it comes to this sort of thing. I love the uh, I love the argument where it's like, yeah, they shut down the businesses on purpose because they just wanted to shut down the fucking businesses. It's so dumb. I, I, I can't even. All right. Nice you had to Wait, pick governors in the country because like New York, Newsom, Whitmer, Murphy, Wolf, they, they all have the executive orders for nursing homes, which pe the people don't seem to talk about. Right. Are there you two or three governors that you look at in the country that you Jose, think Jose. Do, are doing a great job that you, if you become yeah. governor, would like to be? Texas do oh, God. doing a great job. I Honestly, I would have quarreled. Texas is doing a great job, dude. With what? Fucking not even being able to maintain power during a fucking ice storm? Like, how is Texas ever an example as a positive? That's how you know this is partisan political posturing. When you bring up Ted Cruz, you're like, yeah, okay, you've lost the fucking argument. Nothing is good right now in people, Texas. I would we have other issues. For example, Gavin Newsom talks about taxing water. I did a show from San Joaquin Valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just doing my research. Uh, and, I know. Uh, the Delta smelt prevented farmers from being able to farm. It's not a small deal. This farms now. I, I've heard about the Delta smelt, yes. How would you, what would you do on that case? Water's a big issue in this state. It is. Okay, it's a big issue in this state. To be honest with you, I mean, every year I follow, just as a resident, I follow what the waterfall is. They used to have a home in Tahoe. How much snowfall do we have there? Because that's where the bulk of our water comes from. And every year I see this guy go out and he's on the news and he has this big long pole and he takes it out of this field and he sticks it down to see what the, how much snow we have. I find it really weird that like, all of her reasons for why she's running are so so personal in the way that like it kind of it kind of like uh, uh i guess it makes her a little human right it humanizes her but at the same time it'll sometimes it'll just literally be like my friend who owns his own private jet hanger is leaving for arizona because he saw a homeless person you know what i mean it's like sincere but because she's so fucking out of touch that like well, I have this take on immigrants being humans because I know an undocumented immigrant who is really nice. This is one big my friend's boat. We decided to go on my friend's boat at the end of the day take over and over again. Like Were you talking about this, LMAO? Our gender is trooper. Our color is gray. Our gender is trooper. What? Oh my God, they literally did that. Um, You are kind of transphobic, dude. Yes, you're right. I am being transphobic because of... uh my take on on